Hello, my name is Du, and I'm the Android software engineer for UIKit. Let's start the presentation. First, I'm going to explain the architecture of Android. Next, I will show you how to customize the UIKit components as shown in the architecture. Finally, using an extra customer request, I will show you how to implement our UIKit version 3. This is the Android architecture. Android UIKit is implemented on the top of Android platform. Within the Android platform, the chat SDK, UIKit, and even the customer's application are all interdependent. Chat SDK communicates with the Sendbird server and provides chat features to UIKit. In addition to managing channel data and message data, it provides various features such as message search, typing indicator, and read receipt, deliver receipt. UI Kit provides UI components to customer applications using features of Chat SDK. Using UI Kit, a customer can easily implement UIs for chat features. In UI Kit version 2, only activity, fragment, style, and resources were provided as a customizable UI components. The minimum unit of UI was a single screen, which is called a fragment. Let's look at the code, the header, list, and data, and event binding for the input are all combined within the fragment on draw page method. So, the customer is not able to customize separately. In addition, the creation of view model was set to private, making it impossible to manage APIs. However, in UIK version 3, module, component, and view model are additionally provided. Therefore, customers can change the layout more flexible by using modules and components. The view model makes it possible to add new APIs and use existing APIs. UIK version 3 provides methods that bind the data and events for each component in a fragment. Therefore, Customers can override the method to customize binding data and events for each component. The creation of view model and module is also changed to protected from private, so customers can use new APIs and custom views. Let's dig deeper into the relationship between UIKit version 3 components. UIKit can be divided into two parts. One part is in charge of view, and another part in charge of data and API. Fragments are the central UI component of UIKit. By creating a module and creating a view model, it serves to bind the view provided by module and the data and or API provided by the view model. A module provides a view of entire screen of the fragment there is one module per one fragment. A module has several components. A component creates a smallest unit of view that can be customized in UIKit. The key essence of the UIKit version 3 is modularity. The screen, which used to be fragment unit, is now divided into a component unit. Looking at channel module as an example. In the previous UI version 2, it was only possible to customize by referencing the entire screen. Now it is divided into header, list, and input areas within the module, and it is possible to customize each view. Not only the view, but also the events and data to be customized for each view. Customization will be explored in more depth in the next section. Lastly, the view model actually communicates with the chat SDK and provides data and APIs related to chat. The fragment uses data by using APIs provided by view model or by observing data changes. UIKit components are created in the life cycle managed by base model fragments and bind data and events. Methods are called in order from the top of the table. 
They are called within the own create method in the order of view model creation, module creation, param setting, and authentication. After authentication and on create view is finished, method that bind the views and data are called. Regarding customization, it is written in the when to override column or the table. We will look at this in detail in the next customization section. Let's talk about customization in this section. First is about customizing the module. There are two things you can do. First, you can change the layout position between existing components. Second, you can add a new view. I will explain it through code. Let's take the channel module as an example. Inherit the channel module. Overwrite the onCreateView method to put the code and that change the layout and new view creation. You can create a new view or view group using a context or info later. Also, you can get a component and use the view created by existing component. Return the top level view by attaching views to the top level view, the settings for adding new views or changing the layout has been completed. Now you should apply this custom module to the fragment. Inherit channel fragment. Override on create module method to create and use a custom module. If we create and return the custom channel module on on create module method, the custom module is applied to a custom channel fragment. Next, let's customize the component. Uh, in the case of components, it is used to apply a custom view by replacing the existing view. Let's see the code. Let's use the message input component as an example. First, inherit the message input component. Override on create view method to create and apply a custom view. Creates and returns a custom view using context info later and parent information passed as a parameters in on create view method. Basically, the view created here is added to the parent in the module, so you don't need to attach the view to the parent here. The view that this component creates has been replaced. Let's apply this com custom component to a fragment. Inherit channel fragment. Override on create module method and we should call the super core to get the existing module. If you want to use the custom module, you can create a custom module and use it. Through the set input component method in the module, create and apply a custom component and returns the module, this will apply your custom component to your custom fragment. The following is how to set data in view and change resources using params class of the module and components. Inherit your custom channel fragment class and override the onConfigure params method. The module created in onCreateModule method is passed as a parameter you can set the params of module and params of components here. The value set in params is applied only when it is set before on create view code. I will show you how to change the event of views. To safely apply the event, you must apply it after authenticate method and on create view method have finished. So it is recommended to apply it in method that start with onBind or onBeforeReady method. Each component provides methods that set events for the view. First, override the onBind method for the component whose event you want to add or change. Use the setter of the event you want to change after the super core since the default event is set in the super core, it must be set after the super call. You can change the event of the view like this. Next, let's see how to customize the view model. You can add the new APIs 
by customizing the view model. First, we inherit the view model we will add our API to. In this example, we want to allow users to leave the channel directly from within the channel. Let's add the leave channel method. To use custom view model, Android allows you to create a view model in a several ways. As a representative example, we will inherit and use new instance factory of view model provider override the create method. Create and return the custom view model in create method. Now, moving on to the custom fragment, override the on create view model method to use the new view model. Create and return custom channel view model using the view model factory created in the previous step. If you need channel URL at this time, you can use the get channel URL method or fragment. Let's bind newly added view models API to the component to do this. Override the on bind some component method. Inside here, we should cast the view models to a custom channel view model. We can use the leave channel we added in the custom view model. Up to this point, we have covered the customization supported by UIKey version 3. Now, I will show you the process of development with an examples of real customer requests. There was a request from a customer called Verse. It was a request to add a typing indicator to the channel list. In addition, there was a request to add read receive and deliver received for the last message to the la channel list. Let's just implement it in three steps. First, we will customize the item view. This will customize the recycler view adapter in the same way as the existing UI key version 2 changes. But the difference is that you apply a custom adapter to the component. Second, we will customize our view model. The view model will receive event about typing status from the chat SDK. We will set the value of the received event to live data and make it observable in the fragment. Finally, we will observe the typing status in the fragment and update the view by notifying the adapter when the value changes. First, let's customize the item view. Create custom channel list adapters by inheriting the channel list adapter. Override on create view holder method and unbind view holder method similar to how you would implement the Android Recycler view adapter. Declare a class that inherits base view holder to create a custom item view. Base of view holder needs to specify data type. The specified data type is passed as a parameter to bind method. In the bind method, you can bind the specified data and the view. Create and return a custom view holder in onCreateViewHolder method. In the case of onBindViewHolder method, if you use a supercore, the bind of base view holder is called. So you do not need to implement any additional code other than the super call. Just go back to the channel list builder class, implement the bind method. In this method, we need to bind the typing indicator and the read receive and deliver receive data to the view. In this case, of the typing indicator information of user who is typing can be known through the channels get typing users method. For read receive and deliver receive, you can use the type channels get on read member count method and get on delivered member count method. If you draw the view with the above information, a custom item view is done. Next, let's receive the typing status event from view model. You must use the chat SDK to receive typing status events. Create a custom view model by inheriting channel list view model. In the constructor, add the channel handler provided by the chat SDK, override on typing status updated method and the channels handler to receive event. Also override on cleared method in the view model, you must release the channel handler registered on the constructor. 
Declare live data so that you can observe event changes in the fragment. Declare getter of this live data. Update the value of live data in own typing status updated method of chain handler. Now let's bind the custom view and custom view model inside the fragment. Here we will show you two ways. First one is to simply update the adapter in the fragment. Second one is to notify the update to the component so that the component will update the adapter. Inherit the channel list to fragment. Override on create view model method to apply the custom view model create the in the previous step. And here we should return a custom view model. Override on bind channel list component method to bind the data in view when super core is called all data in the existing list components are combined. This is where you create a custom channel adapter and set the custom channel list adapter in the list component. Use the view model by casting the view model to a custom view model. You can use a newly added method only after casting. Observe by getting live data where typing status observes updates. When observed, the adapter is adapt updated. Custom channel list fragment can be used through the constructor or through the UIKit fragment factory. The development requested by Verse is complete. However, I will show you second way to bind the data and views. This part has been added to show how to use custom component. Inherit the channel list component. Create a method that can receive data about typing changes. Go back to the custom channel list fragment. Override onCreate module method this time. Here, a custom channel list component and can be set in the module. Override on bind method. In the same way, call set adapter on the list component to apply the custom adapter. And when observing the typing updated value provided by the view model, it notifies the data change to the component. Similarly, use a custom fragment as a default constructor or apply a custom fragment using UIKit fragment factory. And that's pretty much it. If you want to watch the extra implementation, please watch the video. And if you have a, any question, uh, please leave your question on our Q&A Google Sheet. Thank you.